This is a new book that I'm reading for a read aloud. And it's called Claude. It's a new book, uh, series at our library. And this is Claude on the Slopes. There's Claude. There's Claude and Mr. Mobley Socks right down there. There's Claude and Mr. Bobley Socks. Chapter 1. At 112 Waggy Avenue, there lives a dog. A small dog. A small plump dog. A small plump dog who wears shoes and, and a sweater and a rather nifty beret. Rather nifty beret, a sweater, and shoes. This dog is called Claude. Hello, Claude. He lives with Mr. and Mrs. Shiny Shoes and his best pal in the whole world, Sir Bobbly Sock, who is both a sock and quite bobbly. Every day after Mr. and Mrs. Shiny Shoes have hot-footed it out the door to work, Claude pops on his beret and goes on adventure with Mr. Bobbly Sock, Sir Bobbly Sock. But where will they go next? Chapter 2 one morning, it was a Tuesday, Claude woke up in a loud sort of mood. He had, a, he had been feeling boisterous all week. He whistled loudly <laughs> as he tied up his shoelaces. He hummed loudly <laughs> and smoothed his sweater down over his tummy. And he said, Ooh, aren't you handsome? Loudly to himself while looking at himself in the mirror. So loudly, in fact, that he blew the froth off the top of Sir Bobbly Sock's frothy coffee from the other side of the kitchen. Now that takes some doing. Claude and Sir Bobbly Sock had spent the day before, which had been a Monday, at the library. Bang, 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 honk, 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 twang, twang, oof. Miss Hush, the librarian, had explained that although it was okay to make a bit of noise in the library, especially when you found a very exciting book, turning up in your one-man band outfit was a bit much. Then she had lost count of the number of times she'd had to remind Claude to use his nice indoor voice. By the end of the day, Sir Bobbly Sock had needed a long nap with a damp cloth over his ears. Uh, but that was yesterday, and now Claude needed a jolly new adventure to go on. I think I'll go get some fresh air, shouted Claude. And he did. Sir Bobby Sock was hardly out of his pajamas when Claude flung open the front door. Brrr, Claude said, shivering. It's ever so ch But he didn't have a chance to finish his sentence because... Whoosh! Bump! Crash! Claude slipped on a patch of ice and flew right across the street, landing with the bump on his bottom. Sir Bobby Sock gingerly picked his way over to see if Claude was all right. Oh my goodness, he was. What is all this slippery, wet, chilly stuff? asked Claude, looking out at the blanket of white that covered the street. Then he realized it was snow. Claude had never seen snow for himself before, but he'd seen pictures and books. He was just wondering what to do with it all when suddenly someone whooshed past him at a terrific speed. Then another person did, then another. Claude didn't know what they were doing, but he knew it was something exciting because his bottom had started to wag his tail like crazy and his eyebrows were jiggling uncontrollably. So he ran after them as fast as he could. Claude and Sir Bobbly Suck followed the whooshing people all the way to the Snowy Mountain Winter Sports Center. When they arrived, Claude and Sir Bobbly Suck looked around in wonder. There was so much to see. A cozy log cabin cafe, snowy mountains, people whizzing through the air, and people falling over. Look at that. That's a lot of snow. And that's the end. I'll finish chapter three later.